Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, for today's video, I thought I would go over framing because, well, a lot of people don't know, your stuff can get really damaged if you don't frame it properly. And hopefully with what I show you today, you'll really be aware of this. So there's a lot of ways you can go about um, protecting your artwork or prints, whatever you're going to frame. And well, today I'm going to be going over what spacers are and how to use them. Personally, I love spacers. They're cheap and affordable, and it's something to do like last minute if you can't afford to do custom framing, which could be a lot. I know because I currently work at Michael's doing custom framing. So if you're looking for something cheap, affordable, easy to do, and you want to make sure that your stuff's protected, you're going to want to watch this. So first off, of course, you're going to want to get a frame, a picture, whatnot, make sure it fits. Otherwise, you're going to have to figure out a way to fill up the gaps, like with a map board. So for example, I like these Belmont frames from Studio Decor. Um, I got an 8x10 because the picture size that I have for what I'm going to frame is pretty odd. It's like 5.5 by 8.5 I believe. Um, so anyways, I went to Michael's to get a custom mat just to fill up the gap parts. And as what I'm going to be doing here, I'm just opening up the frame and then I'm going to take out the whole backing off and whatnot and we're going to get to that part in a minute. So these little things, I don't really know what they're called, but you know, they hold in the backing or whatever so your stuff doesn't fall apart. Um, they can be pretty tricky and pretty annoying to do, so I would recommend something with a flat edge, maybe like, um, Maybe like a flathead screwdriver. And then once you take the back off, this is where it's gonna get pretty fun with the spacers. So this is a spacer. Um, I decided to go with black because from the outcome of what it's gonna look like, I think the black would look a lot better so for this, since it is a long piece, I got it for about like 50 cents at Michael's for a big long piece. So yeah, they're not that much. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm making sure I'm going to have a nice line so that way I can break it and fit it into the frame. So I don't have wire cutters. I would recommend that more than an X-Acto knife, but it's all I had was an X-Acto knife. So yeah, anything that's sharp, just as long as you saw it in just enough, then you should be able to just break it in two easily. And of course, be careful because I have histories being cut on the finger having to get stitches and shots. Okay, and once you got the first piece, it's easy because, well, we're doing the sides right now, or top and bottom since my picture is vertical. Um, just measure it up with the other one and do the exact same thing, cut that down. Then once you have those two pieces then you're going to want to do the other two sides, which is going to be different. So what you got to do, same thing, measure and then make the line cut and then just break it apart. Then once you have all your pieces, you can take the paper that's in there that comes with the frames and the mat board that's already in there, which I don't believe these ones are the acid free ones. So if you're trying to protect artwork and stuff, whatever, um, yeah, you probably don't want that one. Well, I'd want to replace it. Unless you have something that you can make multiple copies of, then it won't really matter if you have that one. Okay, and the little um, thingies that you could peel off of the spacers, um, it has like an adhesive underneath, so it's like tape. What I like to do is tape it to the frame from the inner side instead of taping it onto the glass or the acrylic that you're going to use. Because, well, it'll keep the frame in there so you don't have to take it in and out. Just something I like to do, it's easier to me. So here's the mat and the picture I'm going to be framing. Um, I got a picture of Jessica Jones. It was from an artist that I bought it from at that San Francisco Comic Con where I got my Robin Hood pictures autographed. So here it is. And I'll leave the information, like the link to the website if you want to check out this guy's artwork. Um, his name is Tomas or Thomas. I'm not sure how he pronounces it, but I'll leave that down in the description. This stuff's really cool, so I really recommend it. 
Okay, and I would make sure to get some kind of like artist tape, anything that's acid free, because like me, I want to protect myself. Don't want bacteria making my stuff ugly and whatnot later on. So tape it together onto the mat board, and now we're going to get to the assembling into the frame. So just easy, just put what you're going to put in the frame in there, and the spacers are going to be lifting it off of the glass. And put the backing all the way back together. And as you can see, like from side views, you can see the black spacers just outlining inside. I thought that looked cool. And yeah, I would recommend getting non-reflective glass if you have a lot of sunlight or you're going to frame it. As like right here, you can tell there's a lot of reflection. And there you have it. Hopefully this helped give like some kind of idea on how to use spacers. I would recommend those, at least starting out with framing if you're don't want to get overwhelmed by all the possibilities you can go about it. And if you still have questions, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful and you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and become a subscriber or possibly give this video a like. Either or is greatly appreciated and as always, stay awesome guys.